All right, my name is Matt Jones. I used to be a computer programmer and then I was a construction worker for a while. I saved up a little bit of money and then due to certain world events and my ankle being screwed, I am now unemployed. So let's make a video game. Let's make a cross between Fallout New Vegas and Deuce Ex using the wonderful Godot game engine. And while we're at it, why don't we make it so there are different objectives that can be achieved different ways, like in Prey and System Shock? We could also make the NPCs so they have different schedules, doing all kinds of different things throughout the day, like in Oblivion and Hitman. And let's add a bunch of sci-fi and like weird anomalies, like in the Metro and Stalker. And how about an identity system, like in Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines, and Hitman, where NPCs don't even necessarily know who you are based on the way you're dressed. I mean, you can be covering your face and they'll have no idea that you're the same character. And uh, how about some inventory Tetris, like in Neo Scavenger and Death Stranding. And let's make everything systemic, like in Arx Fatalis, where you can just throw food next to the fire and it'll cook the food. And a bunch of other systems that interact in, interact in clever ways. And um, uh, real-time weather and a day-night cycle. That should, be, that should be enough to get us started. So it's been a couple weeks. I've made a couple demos. And... Uh, I've got basic basic things working with, but don't expect any any graphics yet because I haven't added any. So everything's basically cubes and uh, capsule colliders. So let's go look at the demo. All right, start the game. It's going to slowly load everything and dynamically. I'm going to show you guys how to do this with a Godot. So basically, you can have open world games where things are loaded uh, in chunks um, asynchronously. So I got a basic little guy here. You can hop around. He's just a little capsule for now. No animations yet. Let's see. I've got a, a nine millimeter pistol. Uh, not very powerful. The bullets don't go very fast because it's just nine millimeter. Not very heavy. Not much kinetic energy. Uh, the bullets ricochet off different materials, like this bomb here. Let's switch to a more powerful 308 rifle. Much faster bullets, much heavier bullets. You can see it, it's got enough power to where it's actually knocking, knocking this heavy bomb off. Blast things a lot further. Let's see what else. Oh, um, we want our, our doors to be a lot more interactive. So, for instance, you, if you want, you can just shoot the hinges, break, knock the door down. Uh, or you can just break the door itself. It breaks into a bunch of pieces. I'm going to change it. I don't want it to break into the little chunks like it's some kind of Minecraft game, but that's I want it to break apart. Let's see, the door is locked. This one door is locked. So if I shoot the handle, it can break the handle, and now it's it's unlocked, and it doesn't look that destroyed. Let's see, I also need to add lock picking and a bunch of other features, but that's nice to have. We want to have our doors a lot more immersive and interactive. We got some things in the background here, some giant windmills. Uh, we want our storage to be so we can have separate storage and put things inside of things. We got a fanny pack here and a backpack. Let's uh, equip those. Put our fanny pack on our waists, our backpack on our back. You can see them on the, the little capsule character here. Let's see, let's go inside the store here and uh, take some items. Grab an orange, we can actually pick it up and just carry it like in Fallout. Or just drop it on the ground. Let's see what else. What do we got in our storage here? Let's see, in our fanny pack we got, uh, got a pistol and uh, some oranges. In the backpack we got we got a box of cookies and another orange. Let's. One of the things about like games like Skyrim I don't like is that you can just pause the game and just quickly eat like seven wheels of cheese. That that's that's silly. Let's let's make our game so everything cues. So let's eat the cookies. Let's eat the orange. Um, eat this other orange. 
all this stuff cues you can see and let me let me eat some more stuff let's eat uh, another orange another box of cookies another box of cereal some orange juice you can see all this stuff is going to queue up queue in our uh, our stomach queue we're eating the cookies and then we're going to eat the orange and the orange and the orange and the other cookies and the other cereal and whatnot so it takes time to, for the all the food to be digested which is nice Let's see what else what else do we have um, oh I, I don't know if I mentioned it but the uh, the bullets are all using raycast so we can have bullets go really fast and it do, they don't clip through things uh, so we got a car it's got lights brakes so we got some NPCs standing over here. We got some cactuses. Let's run into the cactuses. Very hardy cactus. And oh, we damaged our car. Oh, we oh we we broke one of the wheel. <laughs> we broke the wheel off. Okay, let's not destroy it too much. Got some sparks going here. Run over some NPCs. Like it's Grand Theft Auto. Oh, and we got a bunch of organs here. These organs emit smells, and if uh, if that coyote smells it, it'll run over here. There's a little coyote running around here. Oh well, it's probably probably running away. Okay, let's go see what else there is over here. Let's get a better look at our car with the player. Yeah, we you can see that there's damage. Let's see, there's a we want to be able to store items in the trunk of the car. What have we got in here? So we got a shotgun, some cookies, and a nuclear bomb. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, one of the other things is let's make everything destructible. So if I drop a nuclear bomb here, it should blow up all of these buildings, all this furniture, all these NPCs, all of this stuff. The windmill, it should all be destroyed. So let's uh, let's actually drive the car out here so it doesn't get nuked. To drive over by this blue building here. You can see it's going to load in the terrain in front of us here. It loads all that in dynamically. Obviously, in that when we're when we're further along, we should actually load more than just a little bit there. So you should be loading further in the distance. That should be far enough. Let's drop the nuke now and and see how that looks. So I don't know if we're I don't know if we're uh, far enough away. Oh wow, that's really bright. I got the brightness turned up too high. Let's see, it blows up all the, blows up everything. Everything gets yeeted off into the horizon. Now let's go see uh, what's left over there in the crater. We got uh, deformable uh, terrain using some CSG meshes. Obviously, this is, isn't going to be the normal terrain. This is just temporary to show how we can damage it. So we're gonna now we got a nice big crater where the bomb was. As I uh, crash the car, uh, there's a lot more I could show you, but that's enough for now. Um, um, I, I'm also thinking about uh, open sourcing this. Uh, but I need to I need to figure out how it's going to work with the art when I commission some artists and whatnot. Because it'd be nice if Fallout New Vegas was open source and Dusex was open source, so we could fix it and uh, have our own official builds. But I guess we're going to have to make our own games and do that. So anyway, I'm going to post this on the Twitter, the Twitter page and the YouTube page and the uh, GitHub page. So I'll put links down below for you to check check some stuff out. I'm going to show a tutorial on how to how to uh, load stuff dynamically. Um, so uh, come check that out in the next couple of days. Thanks a lot.